What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Someone by the name of Michael McKinley suggested an SMG from Modern Warfare 3, the Wasp 9 with conversion kit. Now he made a good point here, this bad boy has an insane damage output but it was limited by its ammo capacity but luckily we have the mag of holding to take care of that issue for us. Before I get into the build I'm using for the Wasp 9, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a safe, trusted, and reliable Call of Duty service provider and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics and zombies, all the camos, and they offer a lot of other services. If you guys are interested in this then click the link in the description below and be sure to use my code HIP for an extra 5% off. So the build I'm using for the Wasp 9 is as follows. We're using the Broodmother Conversion Kit, which greatly increases the damage output, but it lowers the fire rate and ammo capacity. No stock for a huge boost to overall mobility. The Kaimura RYL33 laser sight for a huge boost to our ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. The Hiss short barrel for an increased ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed. And last but not least, we're using the Marauder rear grip to help out a bit with our recoil and kick control. Thank you again to Michael McKinley for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that I covered the build I'm using for the Wasp 9 it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the Elder Dark Ether to see how this bad boy performs so I'll see you all there. Alright boys we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can see got a bunch of zombies behind us so let's just see how it performs. Oh yeah dude damage output on this thing is crazy good got that mimic right there mimic's dead this guy here has his little flamethrower nice i love to see it Ooh, there's a bounty contract right back there and it did that little ping bug again gotta take your time before you close your map so let's go grab that and see how it performs against hvts um just from taking out that group i'll have to give this thing a solid nine out of ten um it's not as powerful as the ftac siege from yesterday but but this thing is doing some work. You definitely need the uh, mag of holdings on it though. Ooh, got this little disciple here. We got a mangler as our target. Let's take, oh, turn the disciple. Okay, and I mean, yeah, just look at how quickly we killed that mimic. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have some fun with this thing. But once again, you definitely need to have the mag of holdings on or you will run out of ammo way too quick. So I'll see you guys once I'm by the mangler. Alright, Mangler's right there. We'll start taking out some of the normal zombies in front of us. There we go. Nice. Take that one out as well. Perfect. Alright. There we go. Already broke the Mangler's armor. Yeah, we're just eating into his health bar, dude. <laughs> it's almost halfway dead. Let's throw that blade quickly. There we go. Take out some of these normal zombies as well. Nice. Did more than halfway. Oh, oh, Star blade some distance not trying to go down <laughs> and come on just a few more shots there we go contract complete Let's see what we got off that elemental pop recipe um definitely gonna stow that for now let's take some of these guys out as well might equip the uh, mortar strike just because the large bag i will replace with that three plate just so we have that for the next game when we load in um, the normal sigil I'll leave there since we already have two Elder Sigils, that's more than enough. Perfect. Um, there's another bounty contract right there, let's go, we're lucky today boys. Tier 3 zone isn't too contested, there's one team there and then there's that solo player coming in, so yeah, definitely found a good time to hop in. There we go, got the bounty contract, let's see what target it gives us, and it's another mega, let's go, perfect. Definitely my favorite target right there. So I'll see you guys once and by the mega. Ooh, got this old mangle right here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Damage output is just insane, dude. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun in the Elder Dark Ether as well. I oh, got this old mimic here as well to take care. Oh, they were already hurt. What the? Okay. That's odd. All right, there we go. Mega abominations right there. Let's quickly come over to this side. This should work, right? We're already elevated unless... Okay, yeah, that works. Perfect. Start hitting this... Nice! Already destroyed one of his faces. Let's go. <laughs> That's insane, man. 
All right, there we go. Another laser attack is coming in. Let's try to hit that face on the right side. Destroyed two of his faces already. Okay, yeah, we are not having any issues taking out this mega. That's a good sign. There we go. Let's take out that hellhound. Perfect. Come back up here. Another laser attack's coming in. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies up there. Yeah, we'll have to take care of those first. There we go. Definitely don't want to get trapped in a corner. Nice. Okay, we <laughs> he's got less than a quarter of his health bar left. That's just insane. All right, will that trigger a laser attack? Maybe one of these containers? No, yeah, there we go. Let's hit those shots. Ooh, that was a short laser attack, Mega. Come on. Come on. Just a few more shots. And uh, we get it. Stood that blade. There we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. And he dropped a Scorcher Force. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's just going to make everything a lot quicker. <laughs> nice. All right. So there's another bounty contract way back there. So I'll go ahead and make my way over there. I'll see you guys once I'm there. Hopefully we get another mega. Um, a disciple would be good too. If we could get all the different bounty targets just to see how it performs against each of them, that would be nice. But of course, it is kind of luck based. But yeah, fingers crossed we get a disciple or something just so we can switch things up a bit. Ooh, bounty contract spawned in right next to us as well. So I'll go ahead and grab that just to speed things up a bit. Um, I'm not going to spend any essence pack of punching this thing, but if we get like a pack one or two crystal off the contract, I will use it on the Scorcher. That's for sure. And we got a Disciple. Let's go, dude. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. Let's make our way over there. All right. There we go. Disciple's right down there. Let's get a bit closer to him. Where are you at, Disciple? Don't tell me he actually went up top. Dude, I swear. They're the most annoying target you can get. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'll have to take out some of the normal zombies. Yeah, we are eating into that disciple's health bar, dude. Let's throw that. Nice. I'll have to get a bit closer to him so we can actually. There we go. Nice. Disciple's about halfway dead already. Didn't even get the chance to heal off of us yet. There we go. Just a few more shots. Ugh. Let's try to hit his arm if we can. Come on, there we go. Nice. Uh, Recoil is a bit high on it, but of course it is a mobility build. So once he heals up, you just gotta quickly stop shooting and you know adjust your aim a bit. Whoa, what happened there? Hold up. <laughs> so light this guy up. Nice. Just a few more shots and come on. There we go. Got the kill. Nice. Uh, brain rot. We already have mortar strike. And we already have brain rot on this gun, so nothing too special off that contract. Um, there's no other bounty contracts on the map right now. Dang. All right, I'll hang around for a bit and I'll get back to you guys once the bounty contract spawns in. Ooh, one just spawned in way back there. I'm not sure if one of those other guys has a scorcher. Yeah, it looks like this one does. He got back there real quick. I doubt it I'll be able to beat them to it, especially since this thing ain't packed, so I can't really, you know, do the whole little flying thing with it, but we'll see, we'll see. It looks like they'll beat me to it, though. Ah, uh, actually. Oh, no. No, wait. Can we actually beat them to it? No. No. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, they were going for the spore. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I don't feel too bad now. <laughs> and there we go. We got a Mangler as our target. And he's going to be... Okay, nice. Good spot. Nice in the middle. So after completing that, we can probably move on to the next contract a bit quicker. Awesome. All right, Mangler. Where are you at, bro? Where are you at? Um, I don't see him down here. There he is. Hiding behind the car. I see you there, dude. I see you. There we go. Already broke his armor. I'll have to throw our blade because of those zombies. There we go. Let's keep in those shots. Took off more than a quarter of his health bar. Probably. Yeah, there we go. Hit the halfway mark already. All right. Let's climb over here. Beautiful. Keep hitting those shots on him. Throw our blade from time to time. Just clear out all those zombies. We could actually just take him out with the wasp. Let's quickly do that. 
I mean, yeah. Great for groups of zombies and great for HVTs. This thing's insane. Alright, let's keep hitting those shots. Mangler is almost dead. And there we go. Contract complete. Shatter Blast and a medium bag. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, no more bounty contracts anywhere. There is that Outlast contract, but I would prefer to do a bounty. Um, because we really don't need any essence. We have 170,000. So, yeah. Definitely just in the tier 3 for some testing at this point. Um, I'll give it like two minutes or so. If we don't get a bounty contract, then I'll probably just head over to the Dark Ether portal. There we go. One just spawned in behind us. Let's go, dude. All right. Let's see what target we get. And it's a Mangler again. Okay. Would have preferred a Mimic or something since I think that's the only target we haven't done so far. But it's all good. It's all good. All right, Mangler, I see you, bro. Let's quickly land right here. There we go. Start hitting those shots. Try to break his armor. All right, got that Mimic coming at us as well. There we go. Turn the Mimic. Nice. Beautiful. Now we can just focus on that Mangler for a bit. Quickly get some more distance. That Mimic's going to also help out. Let's go. Mangler's almost dead. And there we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. This thing's insane, dude. Brain rot again, and another mortar strike. Alright, loot seems to be pretty meh today. <laughs> but we'll see if that can change once we're in the dark ether. Hopefully we get like another legendary tool or pack 3 crystal like in the last run, but... You know, fingers crossed we get something good. Now let's hope we get a mimic off this contract, just so we did all the targets you can get. Alright, there we go. See what it gives us. And it's a Disciple again. Okay. Not bad, not bad. It's gonna be right back there. Same place we were. <laughs> Kitty Cat, have you money, please? There we go. Start hitting a few shots on the Disciple. Okay, yeah. We were able to stop that heal ability real quick there. Oh, he's doing it backwards now. Dang. My guy's got some moves. He's a smooth operator right there. There we go. Come on. About halfway. Try to hit his arm again. Nice. More than halfway dead now. Oop. Star Blade. Just to take out some of those normal zombies. There we go. Stopped his heal ability right away. Can we do it again? Nice. And there we go. Got the kill. Let's see what I dropped now. Large bag, PhD flopper, and a rare tool. I don't know, man. Loot seems to be pretty bad today. Pretty bad. Um. All right. Are we set up for our Elder Dark Ether run? Yes, we are. We have the Elder Sigil, two self revives, and we'll have three Casimirs once we teleport. So I'll make my way over to the portal and I'll see you guys once I'm there. There we go. Let's use our Sigil. Accept that teleport. Now the. Yeah, there we go. Sigil disappeared. Drop the Casimir, stow that, and I'll see you all in the tier 5 zone. Oop! There we go, boys. We made it to the tier 5 zone. So once you spawn in, just turn around and make your way into this warehouse. We only have 15 minutes to get all three contracts done, but that's more than enough time. So once you're in here, make your way to this back room. And this is where you find the first contract. That's going to be the bounty contract. Now, your target is always going to be a mega abomination. As long as you're in the Elder Dark Ether, the normal Dark Ether, you'll have a variety of targets. And uh, the spawn point is also static. It's way back there in the foggy area. So just rush over there. Of course, we have the Scorcher, so we can just fly over there, which, uh, you know, makes things a lot easier. So once you get into this foggy area, try to get the Mega Abomination's attention. He's already going to hit us with a laser attack. Nice. We can actually do a fair bit of damage right here, right off. Rip. There we go. Let's throw that. Nice. All right, now let's try to lure the Mega Abomination up this hill so we get him out of this foggy area. That's going to make it a lot easier to fight off the Mega. And uh, of course, you know, you won't have hordes of zombies just spawning out of thin air. And, uh, you know, you turn around, you've got like 10 of them behind you. <laughs> That's not a fun time. Let's keep hitting those criticals. Ugh. We'll have to throw our blade and get some distance here. Oh, dang. Bit too slow on that climb. It's all good, though. Let's quickly use that get on this container throw that there we go all right mega 
Hit us with another. There we go. Another laser attack's coming in. We're in a good spot right now. There we go. Oh, definitely need to get some distance though. Uh, let's drop down to this side here. There we go. Have to use our blade again. Ether blade definitely helps out for taking out those groups of zombies. Let's climb up this ladder. There we go. We can do some more damage from here. So the idea is just to uh, keep getting on rooftops and stuff. And once you have too many zombies with you, just jump down, move over to another rooftop, and just keep trying to uh, get the mega to use this laser attack. That's the go-to strategy. Oh, laser attack's coming in. Bad timing, though. We'll have to drop down. Good. Yeah, no, let's not risk that. Don't want to go down on the ladder. Let's take this guy out. Looks like there's a disciple nearby. Yep, right back there. Okay. Let's get over here again. Climb onto this roof. There we go. Another laser attack is coming in. Let's hit those criticals. Nice. It's got less than a quarter of his health bar left. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Definitely doing a solid amount of damage from up here. Nice. Ooh, we're out of ammo. No way. Ooh, got some ammo right there. Yeah, we definitely need to start picking up ammo from time to time. Let's take out that mangler real quick. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nice. Now we can focus on the mega again. Throw that blade one more time. There we go. Should be able to get the kill off that laser attack. Maybe. Ooh. Nope. We'll have to drop down. It's all good. It's all good. Just don't want to take too many risks. And there we go. Contract complete. Quick and easy. Let's see what we've got off of that. An extra self revive, which I will definitely take. Um, no schematics in there, but we did get the blood burner keys. Um, yeah, I'll leave all that in there. So once you complete that contract, we'll move on to the next contract. And that's going to be right up here on that rooftop. So if you don't have a scorcher, there's a staircase inside, or if you look at this side of the building, you have this ladder right here. So just climb up the ladder and uh, make your way up here. And there we go. That's the outlast contract. Now the PND is going to be in the diner. So just climb onto this wall, parachute over to this foggy area like so. And once you land, just run up this hill here, climb over these two little walls and there we go we made it to the pnd device so for this contract there's really not much to it just don't take any risks take your time with it um if you pay attention to the analysis progress bar it goes up super fast when you're in this area and if you step out it goes down super slow so if it gets too crowded there's nothing wrong with jumping out from time to time you'll still complete the contract like i said it progresses a lot faster than it degresses so yeah, definitely an easy contract. Just take your time. Don't stress it. Don't take any risks. And I'll see you guys once this contract's done. Of course, if you got a good gun, you could also from time to time just start, you know, lighting up that whole group. And there we go. Contract complete. There we go. Nice. Let's see what we got off of that. And we got the blood burner key um, schematic. So I'll definitely take that. The only one we need now would be the mag of holding. Um, let's quickly, oh, there we go, use that pack one crystal on this thing. Um, dang, I should probably drop something because I do want to take that extra elder, ah, no, nah, it's all good. I'll just leave it in there. All good, all good. So, once you finish that contract, just make your way over to the roof of the mall. Now, there's three ways you could get up here. You could take the staircase inside, you could go up through this, uh, parking garage back there. Or there's an ether rift at I-7, I believe, somewhere back here that you can take. Um, I think there's one inside the mall as well, if I'm not mistaken. Now, once you grab the contract, just start running west immediately. And as you can see, the extractors are already landing. Then just let's quickly play it up to play it safe. There we go. Now, just run along this bar right here. Parachute over to this next platform. And from here, you can just parachute right over to this rooftop. Nice. Then just throw a Casimir right at the ground like so. And that's going to land over by the car. And it's going to let you disable the extractor without any issues. There we go. One extractor disabled. Now, while you're running to the next extractor, go ahead and open your bag and equip the extra Casimir. And you can just throw that right there at the wall. 
And once again, we can just disable the extractor. So, uh, yeah, definitely an easy contract. The Casimirs are going to be doing all the work for you. Now for this final one, this is probably the hardest one just because of the amount of zombies you'll have back here. But just throw your Casimir like next to the extractor, as you saw. And once again, you can disable the extractor. Now for this part, I definitely recommend having Ether Shroud because there's going to be a bunch of zombies spawning still. So uh, the best thing you can do is pop Ether Shroud and check your reward rift like that. Um, Ether Blade plans. Golden plates I'll take for sure. Um, and an extra sigil. VR 11 plans I will not take since I already have two of those. And uh, no Mag of Holding schematic. Super unfortunate. <laughs> but it's all good. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying so I can give away the full set again. Um, I might give away the Reagan plans and one VR11 plan today on Twitter. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That's at HypnosticYT. I'll send out a random tweet as soon as I'm back home and have time to, you know, load in, drop the schematics for you. So I'll pick a random winner. You just have to reply to the tweet with your Activision ID. I'll uh, reply to your tweet saying you're the winner. Then I'll hit you up in the DMs and we'll arrange a time to meet in game. And yeah give you those schematics so thank you again for the suggestion this thing gets a solid 9 out of 10 um it's not as overpowered Ooh, went down right there it's all good though we don't need the self revive because i down myself anyways with tombstone just so i can keep all of this but yeah it's definitely not as overpowered as ef tag siege but it's a solid choice especially with the mag of holdings i'm pretty sure you need it or you'll run out of ammo way too quick without that so yeah Definitely had a lot of fun using this thing. Thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. It really helps out. Comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.